In today's video, I show you how to install and configure Invoke AI. Invoke AI is a powerful, secure, and easy to deploy generative AI platform for professional studios to create visual media. Train models on your intellectual property, control every aspect of the production process, and maintain complete ownership of your data in perpetuity. Let's get Invoke AI set up. Before we get started, if you haven't joined our Discord server yet, I'll leave a link below. It's a growing community where you can post questions and answers to tech questions, along with just hanging out with like-minded people. Join now so you don't miss out. On to Invoke AI. All right, first disclaimer here is I need to tell you that this container we're about to install, it's quite large. I recommend increasing your Docker VM file size to another 10 gigs or so. To do that, we're gonna go over to settings. We'll go over to Docker. And first thing we're gonna need to do is turn this off. So we're gonna set enable to no and then hit apply. And once that's done, we're gonna adjust the size and have a drink in the meantime. All right, now that that's applied, we're gonna look down here where it says Docker VDisk size. That's what you'd wanna change. I don't really have much in here, so I'm not gonna up mine much. Let's, I'm gonna go to 35 on mine. And you can adjust this you know, whenever you'd like. If you notice you're getting low, you can just up it at that point. So you change the number there, hit apply, and then done. Now let's go turn the Docker back on. So I gotta go back to Docker and then Docker enable here, we're gonna change that to yes, and then apply. We'll wait for the Docker to start back up. So if we go to our Docker tab here, you'll see things just still kind of booting up right at the top here, starting up containers. We'll wait for those all to get booted up and then we'll continue on. And this doesn't take very long. Well, it all depends on how many containers you have. All right, those are all up and running. So let's let's move on. On the installation, let's go to our apps and go to the search option here. And we're gonna look for invoke AI. None we're looking for here is this one, the official one, the nice yellow invoke dash AI. So we'll click install and you can see the attention here. This is why I said, let's go increase the our Docker container. It says it's large and it's gonna use upwards of you know nine gigs. And if you get this warning, no space left on device, then you'll definitely need to increase your VDisk size in your Docker settings. We're aware of the warning, go ahead and hit okay. And we're gonna want the default install, which is the latest. So just select that option. All right, let's scroll down to show Docker allocations and the network type is fine. The web UI port is we're going to make sure it's available. So double click on that port, control F, it finds two, which are right there. All right, we'll see that the port has come up clean here. So we're good. Let's go ahead and move on. After we've checked our port, the next thing we need to do is to get a hugging face token. So let me tell you how to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to open up a browser window. Let's go to a new tab here and we're going to go to hugging face dot co and then you can go to slash join if you don't already have an account and here you'll put in your email address and then your password next you know the normal stuff you go through verify your email i already have an account so i'm going to hit login and i'll put in my information and then you hit login after you've done your verification side of it you're going to have to go up to the hugging face icon up here click on that to go back to the home page which is where i'm at right now then down below we'll go to settings then look in that list for access tokens. We'll go ahead and go there. All right, now we're gonna to go to create new token. And then for token type, we're gonna select read and the token name, I'm just gonna call this demo AI and then hit create token. And now the save your access token window will show up here. And you notice that it says, you will not be able to see this again after you close this window. So make sure you save this. I like to put it in like a password manager or someplace that I've got a secure location where I'll, I'll know where it's at when I need it again. You can always go create another one, but there's no sense in it if you can just save it now. So we're gonna hit copy there, copy that token. And then before you close it, like I said, make sure you've got it saved. So I'll do that now. And here we're gonna go, all right, that's saved. All right, go ahead and hit done now. And now you'll see that in your access token window, it'll have your new generated token there. So now I'll go back to my server where I'm setting that container up. And then under hugging face token, we'll go ahead and paste that in there. So there's the key. Now we're going to scroll down and hit apply and then done. And while that's installing, I want to let you know that the Discord server is up and running. Come join us. I'll leave a link in the description. This install is going to take a while. So just sit back, relax, get your favorite beverage, have a drink. Today, uh, what, what do I have here? Mint tea today. So a little, little different. Well caffeinated from earlier. Right, let's see how Discord's going. All right, this process took about 15, 20 minutes to complete. It all depends on the power of your system, what you have running there. So 
So keep that in mind. And I see here that uh, the command failed, that uh, there's no device driver with the capabilities, which it's looking for a GPU. And I have one. I just forgot to put it in the system before this. So let's jump over to my other server and I will show you from there. So once it's installed, you'll go back to your Docker tab. You'll have your invoke AI listed there. And if you want it to run all the time, you know, you turn on the auto start. I don't need it on all the time, so I'm just going to leave it on off. But we're going to click on the web UI for that container, and then it comes up here. One of the first things we're going to need to do is to get a model installed. So on the left here, this little cube icon, we're going to click on that. So over on the right, we're going to go to starter models, and we're going to look for a model to get installed. I've installed Dream Shaper 8 on mine and then Alien Style. So if you look through the list over here, you'll find those listed. You basically find the one you want and you hit the plus, it'll download it and install it. And then it'll show up on the left side. So when you get your model installed, back on the left side here, we're gonna click on this A icon for the generation. And then we're gonna choose our prompt template. So we'll drop down and let's do, we'll do a nice photography now. We'll do, uh, yeah, we'll do a portrait here. So the positive prompt, you're gonna put in your description here. And then the negative prompt, you list anything that you don't want down below. So for the positive prompt, let's go with, uh, let's see, let's call this a modern day Mona Lisa. And once you get that, you're gonna click on the big yellow invoke. And then if you wanna start creating another one, you can just go ahead and put another prompt in here. You can change the, the model or whatever you'd like. And it'll just process in the background. You just add it to the queue. So right underneath invoke here, you'll see the progress bar. And it depends on your system. In the system, I have an NVIDIA 1060 card. Nothing nothing great by any means, but it works. Bigger, faster card, you'll get you know faster results. It just goes through and refines, getting clearer, more detail. And Invoke AI, is it's huge. It can do it quite a bit, so it takes some learning. I'm just kind of getting into it myself. All right, once it's finished, it'll come up. There you go. There's your, your picture. I don't know what's up with her forehead there, but she's got a little, little dot there. Some of the other stuff I've done here, this one was uh, James Dean and Abraham Lincoln at a Paris cafe. This was the same type of thing and <laughs> black and white photo though. Really kind of scary looking. I mean, look at these hands. What's up with that cup there? And why does he have two cups of coffee? Weird. And this one was, uh, my son came up with this one. It's a nice desert scene with some pyramids in the background, little oasis thing here, some palm trees and penguins. So penguins in the desert, that's, that's different. This is the first attempt of it. That one was just kind of a, an expansive desert. James Dean and Abraham Lincoln is a black and white drawing. That was kind of fun. This is a Mona Lisa in the desert. There she is again with a nice meadow and a river behind her or a stream. This one is a nice young girl with a cup of coffee, which that coffee mug there handles kind of weird. But other than that, it's, it's pretty fantastic detail. Some Porsche stuff that I did. For the life of me, I was trying to get one muddy because that's something, you know, don't see very often is one that's you know looked like it's went through a mud bug it showed mud all around it but not a spot on the car so that was that was a challenge i haven't got that done yet but anyhow that's that's what it is you can just select your model you're going to do some kind of you know uh architectural thing you can do cliff side home overlooking the ocean a little bit i've seen on this or research i've done on it you can actually like zoom into it and clarify details and, and do all kinds of stuff. I haven't tried any of that yet, so I don't know how it all works, but I was looking for some kind of AI thing to generate images. I ran across this. Thought I'd show you guys how to get it installed. Let this one finish up. All right, that's finishing up there. It's pretty good. This weird stone thing on the cliff face is kind of weird, but other than that, it's, it's pretty fantastic. And if you want to download the image, you can just go click on it, right click and just download image. It'll go to your your downloads, then you can open it up, scroll in a little bit. It's just a normal picture, but you can change the image size over here if you want a, a wider image. If you're gonna do like, a, you know, 1080, you set the image size and then you go ahead and generate from there. And there you go, there's, you know, Invoke AI installed. So if you got a video card in your system, you should install it, it's kind of fun to play with. And I'll leave you at that. So if you enjoyed this video, check out one of these videos next. And I'll see you in the next one.